the temperatures are finally starting to drop here in Charlotte and I only have a little bit more time to wear this really cute top I made earlier this year. So I figured I would go ahead, put it on and model it for you guys on my patio. The pattern is Simplicity 8880. It features a lined, ruched, and princess seamed bust, an empire waist seam line, two lower bodice options, and four sleeve options. I made View C, the sleeveless option with the gathered lower bodice, just as is with no modifications at all. I love the ruched center front of the bust. Uh, it just is very flattering and adds a little bit of interest and detail there. It also creates sort of a um, sweetheart neckline, which is also really flattering. The bust has princess seams too, which help create a really beautiful fit. The gathered lower bodice or skirt creates just the right amount of volume and makes this top super comfortable to wear. Take note of the hem length too. I think it is really perfect for a flowy top like this. I did not lengthen or shorten the hem in any way. That is how it comes right out of the pattern envelope. I do think though that there might be a fit issue with the straps. On all the drawings, they sit higher on the shoulder, but on me, they are sitting further out. They don't fall down, but they definitely aren't sitting in the right place. The only thing I can think of is that maybe I put them on backwards, meaning the end of the strap that was supposed to attach to the front is actually attached to the back. Either way, it doesn't bother me that much, certainly not enough to rip it in part and re-sew it, but the next time I make this top, I will certainly be sure to uh, transfer the markings of the straps and pay a lot more attention to what I'm doing during that step. The fabric is a rayon chalet and it is absolutely perfect for this top. That said though, you really could make it out of a bunch of different fabrics. A cotton voile would be lovely, as well as an eyelet possibly, or even some heavier rayons like rayon poplin. My exact fabric came from Joanne years ago. I found it in their clearance section and it was less than $5 a yard if I remember it correctly. Every once in a while, Joanne has some good fabrics in the clearance section, fashion fabrics, I mean. I feel like I never saw any great fabrics in the clearance section here in Charlotte, whereas the one in Charleston, I felt like every time I went, I found something that I really loved. So I don't know if it depends on the store or if they're kind of just moving away from uh, marking down garment fabrics like that, but... I snagged this one and am grateful to have it. I would say this pattern would be good for an advanced beginner. It does have an invisible zipper in the back and the whole bust portion is lined. But other than that, it is a pretty straightforward and easy sew, especially if you choose a more stable fabric like cotton wool. I am wearing my top today with some ready to wear skinny jeans and wedges I got from a local consignment store. My earrings and necklace are from Ana Luisa Jewelry. They make some really beautiful pieces. I will have a link in the description box if you want to check them out. But that is gonna do it for me today. Let me know what you think of this top. I want to make another version for sure with one of the sleeve options. Maybe the lantern sleeve? What do you guys think? Anyways, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.